Before you start watching these videos, guys, please, I want to emphasize that if you must apply for a student visa to study in Europe from August, September or October in 2023, you have to make sure that you carry out your process diligently and make sure your admissions letter comes as early as possible. For those who intend to study in the United States and they are not succeeding, for those who want to migrate to Canada and they are not succeeding, please, this is a country you should pay attention to. In this country in Europe, this is a country in Europe which is almost joining the Schengen zone. And I will be talking to you about five affordable universities in this particular country. After I talk about the five affordable universities, I will equally tell you some few advantages that you can do or that you have studying in this particular country. Then I will talk about the requirements for you to study a bachelor's program or a master's degree program in this particular country. Then at the end of the day, I will try to elaborate a little bit about some of the programs available in some universities and I will talk about one particular university and give some few courses that are offered in here. Guys, if you are new to the channel, my name is Milton Fonkwa. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Please do not forget to subscribe to our channel below and like this video for us, all right? Thank you so much for understanding. So this country I'm talking about is called Croatia. And today I'm going to be talking about Croatia. I will be talking about the advantages of studying in Croatia. I will talk about some universities in Croatia. I will talk about requirements to study a bachelor's degree or master's in Croatia. And I will talk about a particular university. All right. So guys, please remember I have said that if you must migrate abroad, but you are not able to get a visa to the United States or Canada, Central Europe or Eastern Europe or Northern Europe is a place you could consider. Just look into the countries over there. Look at countries with great visa acceptance rate. Then you apply for a program and you move to these countries before you know you would be there balling like a big boy. All right. So now let's move further to see the advantages of studying in Croatia. Croatia is one of the very few countries in Europe that are going to be giving you a lot of programs, degree programs offered in the Croatian language. Some are equally offered in English language. All right. So it now depends on the unit a program from. I hope you understand. Now, another thing you should be checking when you are looking at universities in Croatia is the tuition fee. Croatia stands to be one of the best countries in Europe in terms of tuition fee. With just 800 euros to probably 4,000 euros, depending on the program, depending on the faculty, and depending on the university, you can study in Croatia, all right? And you can equally study in Croatia in English or the Croatian language. That is the first thing you need to know about this country. Another thing about Croatia is that Croatia is the safest country, one of the safest countries in Europe. You would hardly hear of crime rates in Croatia, except that something happened. But I will tell you that if you are looking for a country in Europe that you can study and probably with zero things to affect you or things that will not be affecting you, you should be looking at Croatia. Now, I want to tell you that all these details, I didn't just get them from space. If you want to know more about the safety of a particular country, then you have to go to Global Index, all right? They call them Global Peace Index. Go to Global Peace Index and read more about safety or safety countries in the world. Now, another thing about Croatia is that Croatia has a very low cost of living. With just probably 300, 350, maximum 400 euros, you can be balling in Croatia. Even my friends in Germany, sometimes they pay 200 euros. Remember, it all depends on the lifestyle you want to live. Remember, it depends on the accommodation you are living in. Remember, it depends on the type of food you So like, but generally lifestyle in Croatia is very low. Again, another thing you should understand that Croatia is very good for international students is the friendly nature of its inhabitants or a fellow countrymen. If you have the opportunity to migrate to Croatia, you will realize that the people of Croatia are very friendly. Though the language there might not be pure English, it is not a pure English country, but there is a possibility for you to easily make friendship or have friends in Croatia. There are certain countries that when you migrate there as an international student, it is going to be very difficult for you to have friends or keep friends around. But again, if you think that you need friends, 
Croatia is a country for you to choose. If you think that you need friends, Turkey is not a place for you to choose. Make sure you identify a country that has the same cultural identity with yours, all right? These are some of the advantages of studying in Croatia. And now, I want to talk about some of the affordable universities in Croatia before I go to the requirements. I will just quickly list them. There are five affordable schools in Croatia, and each of these universities, most of them, especially the Algebra University College, which is found in Zagreb, has programs that are in English language, all right? equally in the Croatian language. So it all depends on which one you want to select. Now, the first university, like I already mentioned, is Algebra University College. It is located in Zagreb, in the city of Zagreb. And the next university is called the University of Zagreb. You equally have the University of Split, and of course, the famous University of Rijeka, and the last one, which is the RIT. So these are the most famous universities in Croatia that you would be able to study a degree program in the English language. We are done with the universities. Let's take a look at the bachelor's degree so this in Croatia. The reason I actually said at the beginning of the video that if you must study in Europe this year, make sure that you try to apply as fast as possible. So that the reason now is because appointments issue last year was uh, really a hurdle. And I want to say that it is still going to be a very big issue this year. Now, because of what? The German embassy is also, I don't know, the process that is involved all right, the different appointment systems is so, so, so a big hurdle. Now, the Portuguese embassy, the student visa application is not open. So many embassies has a lot of procedures you have to go through. So for you to pull through this year and actually migrate to Europe, or let's say, first of all, get the appointment, you must be able to be fast. Because if you go by June, the tendency is that you may not still get an appointment at the embassy. That has been trash. Now, let's talk at the requirements on how you are going to apply for universities in Croatia. Now, I am taking um, the Algebra University College, all right, which is in Zagreb, as an example. And anything I will be saying here, with regards to the courses and the requirements is based on this particular university. Why did I decide to take this university? They have some courses that are in the Croatian language and equally in the English language, but this is the university. I think it has the highest number of programs in Croatia. In total, you have like maybe 40 or 45 plus or so degree programs in all Croatian universities, but this particular university alone has 18 different programs. So the reason I choose this university is because it has more programs. Therefore, what are you going to be using to apply for bachelor's degree at this particular university? We all know that the basic requirements is a 12-year basic education, which after the 12-year basic education, you are going to get um, a high school certificate, all right? For some people like Nigerians, you get what is called the YX certificate. Some people get NECO. Other nationalities get WESE or WASI. Others get um, NAPTEC, all right? I think Nigerians, so there are some of them that equally have NAPTEC. Some other nationalities like Cameroonians, they have O and advanced level. Other nationalities have the baccalaureate examination, those that are studying in the French system, all right? So these are the basics uh, for you to enroll in a bachelor's degree program in all countries. Now, for Croatia, it is the same thing. Other documents like the international passport must equally be available for you to apply to these universities. You equally have a passport size photographs. This is to show that sometimes the passport size photograph is to help the admissions team produce a school identity card for you. But most of the time, some schools will not ask for this uh document all right or this maybe this passport then you equally have certificates of english and in this case you can use your ielts or your toffle score it all depends on what you are applying for and again not all the programs will need you to supply maybe your ielts or the toffle score i think there is something called the pearson test if you have the pearson test you are good to go all right if you have the duolingo you are good to go but most of the times always check requirements. I see people coming with emails to my inbox like, Milton, what are requirements to study in this university? Some people come and they are like, Milton, do this university has this program? The only thing you need to do is after watching my video is go to the video description box, click the links there, 
read the requirements all right then check if the university has the program you are looking for i am not the one to explain all of this all right before i forget if you need a one-on-one -on -one consultation with me please book an appointment from the video description box other links are there other emails are there for other things so you can equally do same i hope you understand now a part of the english proficiency we equally have for uh, certificates like cv not really certificates because a cv is not a certificate but rather just a document to prove your capabilities all right then you equally have a portfolio portfolio here stands for uh, have you done something before anything related to have you written a paper have you published a paper if at this point you have published a paper then that is great but if at this point you haven't published anything then you are good to go it is not compulsory all right these are requirements for you to apply for bachelor's degree programs and i would like to emphasize here that dsc programs in croatia last three years all right 180 ects and tuition fee range from 800 euros to like 3,500, 4,000 euros, all right? What happens is after you gather all these documents, you read the requirements, you apply online, you submit the application, attach these documents I just named here, then you pay your administrative fee of 255 euros. That is for the Algebra University College. Other universities have different fees, okay? Then when you pay the application fee, it is going to take the international office some days to process your admissions i hope you understand they, are, they have to review your admissions first before you pay the application or administrative fee then for master's degree a part of your passport size photograph and your international passport you equally need your educational certificates in this case they are not your high school documents but you need to add your bachelor's degree certificate and the transcript to your high school documents before you upload them i hope you understand remember that your certificate is not a transcript transcript is very very important more than the certificate because it shows the courses you have been studying in university all right then a course description for your bachelor's degree is very important and again proof of english which i already mentioned the things you are going to be proving all right then a one application or let me say once the application is submitted it takes time for the international office to review if they review they will ask you to pay the application fee or let's say the administrative fee of 250 five dollars then after that you have to sit in for the entrance examination which may uh, equally count for bachelor's degree students and of course the motivation call which is also part of the entrance examination and successful students will now enroll in this particular university then the university one advantage is that the school will equally guide you on how to apply for your study visa so you don't need to bother too much you don't need to worry too much all right because the university is going to help you or assist you in anything you need so that is how it is for programs in this university before i conclude they have things related to software engineering electrical engineering computer engineering almost all the engineering courses that you know and of course science the arts and the humanities are equally available in this particular university in croatia i hope this video would help you i hope you pick out something from here guys please people are already carrying out action there is a video i filmed last week back and so a follower watched that video and applied to the university and got admissions in finland so please let's watch videos and make sure when you are watching also consider me all right watch and subscribe and comment below so that i can know where you are watching from I hope this will help you till we meet again in another video.